It is difficult today, from a vantage point of insignificance, on this small planet of an ordinary star. Set along this spiral arm of one galaxy among billions in an infinite cosmos, to see the Earth as the center of the universe. Yet, that is where Galileo found it. The cosmology of the 16th and 17th centuries, founded on the 4th century BC teachings of Aristotle and refined by the 2nd century Greek astronomer Ptolemy, made the Earth the immobile hub around which the Sun, the Moon, the five planets, and all the stars spun eternally. This heavenly machinery, like the gear work of a great clock, turned day to night and back to day again. The ancients believed the cosmic order obeyed the same mathematical rules and proportions as the tones on a musical scale. Plato spoke also of celestial harmony and the most magnificent choir, terms that imply the songs of angels, though they referred specifically to the unheard polyphony of the planets in their gyrations. Galileo turned his telescope heavenward. The moon is like the face of the earth itself, he concluded, which is marked here and there with chains of mountains and depths of valleys. That winter, in January 1610, Galileo fell on the most extraordinary discovery of all. Four planets, never seen from the beginning of the world right up to our day, in orbit around the planet Jupiter.